Well, I'd say I was surprised, but it would, of course, be a filthy lie. I can't understand it. It's in the guidebook. I'm not sure this is a good idea. We should stay at the Solana. What if Troy can't get me on my mobile? And don't panic. He's got my number as well. It'll do us good to get out of that place for a bit. No, I'm sorry. Unless you tell me where we're going, I'm turning back. Oh, you are such a spoil sport. OK. Yeah, look. Benidorm Museum of Culture? Is this a joke? No! I thought you were into museums and stuff. Look, it's open 10am to 6pm. I thought we could spend the day there. I'm not sure the history of the full English breakfast will fill the next eight hours. Oh, well, let's just forget it, then. I tell you what, let's go back, sit on our asses and listen to Donald talk about catering packs of embalming fluid. No, Kenneth. Kenneth! I I'm sorry. I was being ungrateful. It's not exactly the Guggenheim, but no. Let's go. It'll be fun. Think about the Guggenheim. If it's crap, it hasn't got a beach next to it. Guggenheim. <laughs> Well, I'd say I was surprised, but it would, of course, be a filthy lie. I can't understand it. It's in the guidebook. Benidorm on a budget, 1999. Well, we're not far from the beach. And I brought us a couple of towels just in case. Not far from the beach. It's taken two buses and a 15-minute walk to get here. Well, no, according to this guidebook, there's a lovely little cove beach two minutes down this road. Well, I hope they've not moved it since 1999. Think about using an out-of-date guidebook. You can sometimes come across a lost treasure. Absolutely. Too hard to tune for love. Well, I think 40 winks may be in order. I hope the sound of the waves lapping against the shore isn't too intrusive. I think I'll cope. How delicious is the dreaming of a touch? Should eat something, you know. I'm not hungry. Did you get any sleep last night? What day is it today? Look, Pauline, I think we need to talk. Hola. Two more cocktails. Sorry, no more cocktails. What do you mean, no more cocktails? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. No more cocktails for you. I beg your pardon? My boss, she say, do not serve the angry alcoholic lesbian. She drink too much. Say that again. My boss, she say, do not serve the angry alcoholic lesbian. She drink too much. So, apart from your own narrow-minded prejudices, on what evidence are you basing your wild assumption that I'm an alcoholic? Um, you drink all day and all night. You do not eat. You stagger around smelling of alcohol. You cannot remember which room you are staying. You find it difficult to stand without swaying from side to side. And you spend every night sitting on your balcony, singing and crying until the early hours of the morning. 